Hello everyone, it's Snickerdays. Today I'm coming with your brand new series. I'm playing D&D with my friends Franklin, Michael, known as Pony, and Brandon. Um, hello. I am the god of this game. Um, I am every character that's not these guys. Yay. Franklin is our DM. Pony? He sold me a shifty um, burrito. I don't know, I'm kind of like a wolf girl. Um, melee tip. I'm playing kind of like a melee cleric style character. I am... What was it, a divine sorcerer? Your favorite soul. Yeah, favorite soul. Uh, I'm a kind of a reptilian looking thing. Yeah, spell scale, yeah. Yeah. And let's just say I, I never buy burritos from suspicious people in a magic shop. <laughs> okay. I am my character's Kai Zeus. I am a flaming bird, hellbred. Pretty much imagine a bird on fire. That's human. And at this point in time, right now, me and Brandon's character are unconscious. I cannot use my wing, and both my kneecaps are busted. How was I unconscious? Yeah, yeah Brandon's kneecaps busted. busted. We'll tell you in a minute. Um, All right. So mm -hmm. um, let's get into the game. Franklin, uh, take it away. Also, just before we start playing, Nick, you're basically Big Bird if you hung out with Bert and Ernie more. <laughs> 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 okay. So... Just to uh, recap, so oh, far the party oh, was just traveling down, uh, Pony and Nick were traveling down the road, they came across a battle of, between some goblins and some elves, and, well, they almost died until Brandon showed up, saved them, then they wrecked the goblins, found a teenage girl, and, well... I healed her, she didn't kind of take too well, even though I saved her life. Mm -hmm. Anyways... Then Nick got his almost got his shit wrecked by a druid. Um, yes, Nick got his shit wrecked by a druid. Um, then he almost got eaten by a wolf. Then he forgot he could fly, and that's why his kneecap is busted. Um, Brandon, what happened to him? Because he was not here for our last game. The girl doesn't like them. They took her father's knife from her. Nick and is. while and Pony and Nick were gone, she kind of sucker punched. Brandon took her knife, took the cart, and left him there. She might have also taken some money, but I'm not quite sure if I want to do that yet. <laughs> now we can begin. Okay. Alright, so me and Brandon are now waking up. Yes, you and Brandon are now waking up. Um, so, did Nick finally get back his freaking dagger? Yes. Yes, he did get his dagger back. About damn time, Nick. Um... Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> Brandon, could you please heal my broken kneecaps? Don't do it. I don't know. You told me to I can. I can. But that doesn't mean I will. Well, what use am I if I can't walk? I mean, come on. A wheelbarrow. I don't know. A wheelbarrow. Can I heal your kneecaps? I mean, I might. It doesn't mean I will. I don't think you deserve me. He told me a kid. I mean... I am so very sorry. Bullshit. You know what? You know what? I'm going to do the... Just so he's still in pain. Oh, what is it? Let me zoom in. Let me zoom... There we go. I have such lovely friends. I'm going to cure the mind... Cure mine. Well, how badly is his broken kneecap? Um, honestly, it's... It's shot. His knee kneecap is shot. He fell out of a tree. So and, even and if I got... were, even if I were, if I wanted to be nice, to do the cure light wounds, it wouldn't heal it, would it? Oh no, cure light wounds, you, basically he's also low on health. I'm basically having it be that you use your cure light wounds, the magic will reset his uh, kneecap. He'll be limping for a little bit, and he still will probably be flying and crappily, because Pony's new wolf buddy he also bit his wing. But I'm gonna he'll be... Do... Walk. I'm going to do the cure minor. Uh, not like oh. You do minor. know I'm at negative hit points right now, right? You know, yes, you are. Uh, you, Pony also found a wand of cure light wound, so you don't have to waste your own magic. It's got 20 charges. I don't know, he told me he can He doesn't deserve it. You also gotta spread that loot around at some point, Pony. Uh, so you're gonna cast cure minor wounds? That's not, not going to do anything for him. It's like what, was that what was that other wand I got or something? Uh, you got a wand of Longstrider, but none of you can use that spell. 
So, so what are you gonna do, Pony, with the cure? What is it? My light wounds she has for the wand? Yes, he has 20 charges of cure light wounds and a so wand. Who's, so who's gonna get that? Or am I like the only one that can actually use that? No, both you and, and Pony can use it. You're both divine casters. Yeah, well, Nick, you're just gonna have to deal with the broken kneecap. I'm not waiting. Um, I'll use your light wound. I'll use it on him. Thank okay. you! Now, let's see. Nick, you were at what? Like negative two? I was point? at negative one health. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, I was at negative two. Cause I you were at negative three. two. Yeah. Okay. Pony, roll uh, one eight plus one. One eight plus one, that would be seven. Okay, Nick, you're conscious, you're you're kicking. Yay. You're good. I'm at five life points now. Yeah. Can yeah. I kick his kneecaps in now? <laughs> no. Uh, my my suggestion would be for you guys to try and find out what you're gonna do next. Well, uh, yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I'm just. There was a smell that let my dog down. <laughs> your, your dog, your your little wolf friend. Yes. Yes. The one that. Her name, uh, her name is Bloodfang. It, it, just, just so you know. Okay. All right, Bloodfang. She Blood is she still indifferent Blang? to me? Uh, to you? Well. <laughs> Is she still yeah. indifferent? She, she's completely apathetic to you. If you died, she wouldn't care. If you lived, she cares even less. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Is there a way I can change that? Can I? Can I roll no. my own? Wild no, no more rolls for that. You, you, you're set with her. She that is. Do, don't because I? We can hey. actually talk to her. I'm counting her as an intelligent creature for these purposes. Do, do I have to roll to see how she feels about me? She's indifferent to you, but not as apathetic as she is with Nick. To, with you, it's more just, oh, here's that guy that my that new friend hangs out with. Yes. At From now on, both happened. you and Nick are just going to have to interact with the wolf, and if she eventually starts liking you, she'll eventually start liking you, but we're not doing any kind of skill checks for that, because that would just slow the game down, <laughs> like my rambling right now. So... Bloodfang has a scent. Yes. Uh, she has the scent. She can take you straight to where uh, it leads, and she knows where it goes. You gotta remember, mm -hmm. she knows these entire woods. Mm -hmm. So, I would recommend just, you know, talking to the freaking wolf. Mm -hmm. What's wow. the smell like? I mean, what type of scent? Yeah. Oh, she caught, um, she caught Sten's scent. Mm. Is that the little, is that the person that's I the, killed? That's, that's the girl that knocked your ass out. Oh, yeah, well, you know, oh. let's, let's follow her. Alright, cool. Well, yeah. let's follow my wolf. Yeah, I'll just follow the wolf, you know, okay. because Nick's got a fucked up wing, and I wish he still had the busted kneecap. I I'm like waddling, I'm, I'm waddling around with like straight legs right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. You're like a penguin that's burning. <laughs> Yes, I'm a burning penguin. Well, no, penguins have kneecaps, so... Do they? Yes, penguins have kneecaps. Oh, okay, here it is. Here it is, okay. So as you guys, uh... Follow the wolf. She, she doesn't take you down the road. Um, she actually takes you through a forest path that she says is a shortcut. Okay. So, you spend about a three-hour hike through the woods, um, yes. nice three hour hike through the woods, and, and eventually you come up along the ro roadside, a new roadside, and as you continue along that road, the scenery slowly changes. The forest gives away to farmland, and soon you see the hamlet of Barrow's Edge. Okay? Wow. Um, your wolf says, welcome to Barrow's Edge, dickheads. Hey, what did I do? Um, Nick is just Nick, so yeah. Like I, I would suggest, I, I would suggest talking to whoever you find in there. Right. Also, uh, the girl, the girl who sucker punched your friend is also in there. And, and I'm just gonna go sleep now. And so she, your wolf, runs off into the woods and goes to her usual den. Alright. Um. 
one thing I want to do right now is um, how many arrows did we get from the elves that you know Pony slaughtered? How many elves? How many arrows did you get from the elves? That's a good question. <laughs> See, granted, we couldn't have used the bows that you guys left. Couldn't we have still brought them with us and so? I did. I brought um a bow and a longsword. Yes, you all took one thing from them. Because you suck yeah. at moving I, I, Well, no, no, I, I, I took, well, I took uh, one bow. Um, I have a spear. Yep, yeah, but it, I, 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 I from the looks of it, they did not have any usable arrows left. They used all their arrows in the fight with the goblins. What about the, oh, damn, we, did, we never searched the goblin. Which goblin? The one with the, did we search the one that had the bow on the cart? Um, that guy? No, you didn't. Damn, he would add some arrows. Oh, well. Nick, you have a crossbow. I don't think you're even proficient with a regular bow. Uh, simple weapons. <laughs> simple weapons, and... Aren't... Uh, regular bows aren't simple weapons. They're martial, they're martial weapons. Oh, damn. Unless it was possibly a short bow. A short bow, then, yeah, that'd be considered a simple weapon. No, a short bow's a martial weapon, too. Yeah. yeah. It's just that a lot of classes that have... A lot of classes that don't have martial weapons have, have all simple weapons and also short bow. Nick does not. Is there a way I'll be able to get that later on? Uh, you could burn a feet. Uh, <laughs> mm, I don't think you want to burn a no, feet. No, I don't. No. Short bow. All right, let's uh, let's just. There's there's also a weapon enhancement that gives you proficiency and I think also weapon focus with the weapon that you're holding. But it's a little pricey for you right now. Yeah. You should be able to afford it by the time you level three. But by that point, you'll have your legacy weapon up and running. So why the fuck would you? Yeah, good point. All okay. right. So let's go into this town. You're going into the town. <sighs> so uh, you enter the town and you you see set you see several buildings. Um, you see. A temple, okay. This large building's unpainted exterior clearly shows it to be of recent construction. Outside, the carved wooden symbols of many gods await their first coat of paint and identify it as a place of worship. Um, then we see the face of Franklin. <laughs> a large, a large building, a large building falls at the center of the settlement. Light spills from its windows. A broad sign above the door reads, "Arrows Edge Inn. Welcome to all." Cool. And of course. You see a sign, there is a, one building, a sign above the door reads, Sten Good Cellars Emporium. Little of the original cabin can still be seen as numerous additions jut off all sides and up one level. What is a front porch now serves as a glass in display area. Equipment of all descriptions fills the many shelves and cases visible through the display windows, including lanterns, torches, bolts of cotton, bags of seed, and more. Also, you see a small shop, um can't help but notice the small one-story building painted bright purple with gold stars angling the exterior. The shop demands to be looked at. A sign of the, above the door reads mysticality. Demands to be burned down. Heavy purple drapes cover the windows. And I know, Pony, it it, it offends your, uh, your queer eye sensibilities. But it does not need to be burned down. Damn it. So, do you, what do you do? I'm gonna go check out the Mystic building. I have a word with them about the magic song burrito thing. <laughs> do you guys follow, uh, Minty? That is your character's name for these purposes, yes, Brandon? Yes. Okay, do you, do you guys follow Minty into Mysticality? I mainly wanna I just, I just like kill a random person. What was that? I just like kill a random person. I mean, you you could. Why? Because they can. I don't think you understand. All right, no, 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 <laughs> no. It, it's just no. not happening. If he it tries to, happen. I will use handle animal, and I'll be like, no. And, and I will smack you in the face well, with my you mace. You would get a cold shot. To the nuts. Wait, 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 wait! You you want him to kill villagers? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. Think, all right? Think about this. We are thinking, Nick. Well, obviously not hard enough since you're saying I would hit you in the face if you do that. Oh, they're arguing. Can I just kill a villager? Roll d20, pony. 
Slag. What did you? Thirteen plus three sixteen. You hit. Yay! And since you hit, they only have one hit point anyway. You slaughter a random villager. Cool. Bet you now he has like fifty eyes looking at him. We're famous now. Yes. Yeah. No, no, we're not famous. famous we're for infamous. Okay. As uh, Stormy, that's your character. Yes. As as Stormy I'm gouges from... the throat of a poor, poor old man. Um. Everybody in the everybody in the quiet town stops what they're doing. They look over. Mothers shield their children's eyes. Fathers pull their families behind them and, you know, get in defensive positions. And come over here, come over here. I'm just gonna slowly walk away from them. I'm, uh, I'm already and out. Then, I'm already going to the next How Wait, how wait, wait Tony, did you just say you're gonna very follow me? Expensive clothing. Yeah. No, stay he away from me. He appears to be healthy, but very old. Oh, he sniffs indignantly as he looks you over and then says, What the fuck did you just do in my town? <laughs> See, I'm already walking to the mystic place. Uh, by the I just time he attacked the village, or by the time he even got to attack the village, I was already walking away. Mm. Yeah. What the hell do you mean, what did I just do? I just killed that man. Fuck why? You. Why? Why? For shit to me. Why did you kill the guy? I mean, I mean, Jenkins was a dick anyways, but still. <laughs> well, there you go. Job done. <laughs> the dwarf turns to a uh, reasonably built man inside. And he says, um, Johnson. Yes, sir? Clear Jenkins out of the street, uh, send a fruit basket to his family, and can we can we clear the streets, people? Everybody clears the streets, it's just y'all and uh, this dwarf who seems to be the guy in charge. I'm um, still walking to the mystic shop. Okay, so you're walking to the mystic shop. Pony's in this encounter with this guy. Nick, what are you doing? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to... What's your names? The Trader Girls place. Okay. So, who wants to do what first? Um, no. Have, have uh, Brandon do his first. Okay. Yeah, one of, one, one of the little so, mini branches. So, soft chime back. sounds as the door opens. Shadowy illumination provided by a few candles softly lights the inside of the shop. The scent of lilac incense hangs heavy in the air. And I said incense, not incest, pony. Don't get excited. A male elf wearing brightly colored clothes and bedecked with numerous scarves, charms, and trinkets. He's in a banana elf. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at you through... Actually, he's a hipster. Looks at you through half-closed eyes and smiles knowingly. You come with questions. I, Thamior search for answers. One silver piece gives you a glimpse of the future. So full of shit. Right. Um, I, I just have a few questions. Like, one, what is this place? Let me guess, I still have to pay him for the questions? Yeah, probably. How many silver? Because all I have is six gold pieces. No, then you have 600 silver. Well, he can silver. cast some spells. Um, let's see. He, he can he can make he can make scrolls and potions and whatnot. Um, and uh, yeah, otherwise just uh, just talk to the guy. Would you read your palms, or perhaps we can consult the cards? Or maybe, maybe you would like me to bring out the crystal. He brings out the standard fortune teller's quartz ball. Um, we can quick, kill him, take it, and we can sell it. <laughs> no, pl please don't. I'm not even near him. I can feel your killing intent. I'm gonna walk out of the store from the girl, and there's just gonna be dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, what the hell else would you think? Um, you know, 
I'm so tempted to ask him about the bad burrito. Tony, uh, while this is happening, I want you to start rolling <laughs> d20. I want you to roll like 10 d20s. Don't tell me the answers until we get to you. Just roll 10 d20s, okay? I could have written them again. Okay, so what are you. You're gonna ask him about the burrito? Yes! The shady burrito from the shady man in one of his branch places. Um, I. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Uh. I just, I, I just tell the future. Perhaps, perhaps if you want, I can, I can look into the crystal to find you some answers. Hmm. But for something as, as tough as this, it's gonna take all of my arcade might. In fact, it might cost me more than a single silver piece. Five silver pieces, and you get your answers on this burrito. You know how tempted I am to take Pony up on his idea. You know, you look like the kind of man who's from, who's not from around these parts. In fact, you seem, you seem like you, like you're very lucky, almost, almost as if the gods favor you. Yeah. You're from the city, aren't you? I might be. What's it to you? I figured. Yes. It, and, ju and judging by the look of your, judging by the looks of you, I'm, I'm getting the feeling, I'm getting the feeling that you're part of a, some kind of, some kind of cabal, some, some, some kind of group of art of, of casters such as myself. Am I right, my friend? You may be right again, kind sir. Yes, of course I'm right. The great Thamior is always right in his predictions. And for a measly five silver pieces, well, I can tell like... you all you need to know about this burrito of yours. Remember, children never eat at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this guy says he never is never wrong about predictions. Do you think he's gonna predict how many people are dead outside? Oh no, Nick! Oh no! I I've only killed one so far. Words so far. So far. Words so far. You just take the crystal ball and all the shit and sell it. Kind of like in the <laughs> chop over. As, as this conversation happens, you see several things in the store have changed. Books that were once li that once lied strewn about the shop are now shelved. Crystals that had once been displayed openly are now locked behind case, behind their glass cases. In fact, you feel a shuffling behind you. I turn around and see what the hell might be behind me. You see nothing. Ooh, spooky. Did you break change for a gold piece, kind sir? Well, of course I, I can. For a small process. Just three snap in the throat and take all the money and run. And that's when you find out he's like a level, he's like a ninth level, like, sorcerer. <laughs> you just get your shit wrecked. Why would you have a small fee to break change for a gold piece? That seems kind of shifty to me. Everything comes with a price in this world, sir. I'm, I'm just a businessman trying to make his way. So... You give me that gold piece, I'll give you four silver pieces, and then I will tell you about this whoa, burrito. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. <laughs> You'll give me four silver pieces? Taxes. <laughs> That's a oh, shit ton of taxes. Taxes. Tax making change. What, what the Tax. hell kind of business are you running here, man? A legitimate one. I would have killed them by now. Yes, but Pony, you wouldn't have killed anybody by now. Yeah. He could have been blowing you, you would have killed him already. <laughs> <laughs> Man. It's like you're freaking ripping people off. How do you do If you that? are not happy with the services that the great Thamior can provide, then you are free. To peruse any other magic shop in this town. I think he needs a good ego deflating. 
Mm. I think you need a good ego deflating too, though. I don't have an ego. I'm just like a cold-blooded killing machine. Alright, I have a little bit of ego. <laughs> a little so, bit. So what do you do, Ren? Hmm. Find out next time on I Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I think I'm going to temporarily leave and change for the gold piece. I swear, if he still wants all the four silver pieces and he's running some weird fucked up shit here, I'm getting very so shifty vibes from this dude. So you're leaving? Yes, I will return. You'll be back. They always come back to the great Samuel. All right, so uh, he's the on. door chimes as you leave. It kind of boops behind you, and you can see back into the shop that Samuel is just sitting there chuckling to himself. Back to Nick. Um, okay. Hey. You're not a pony. You'll have your moment. You'll have your... Now you went into Sten's shop. Did you not? Yeah. Anyway, that's all for now, everybody. Um, I had to cut these videos, it would take way too long to upload it all. I'm sorry that the first 30 minutes was just plain talking, uh, pretty much just introducing our characters, getting through the basics. Trust me, next episode is going to be a lot more entertaining for people who aren't me. Because um, I, don't, I don't have fun in these games. I don't have fun. Well, I do have fun, but it's not fun for my character. Um, yes. Next episode's gonna be much better. We're getting into action. It's gonna be a lot of fighting. A lot more character development. We're not gonna be standing around waiting for Brandon to say something for ten minutes. I mean, you know. Things get exciting. Pony's gonna kill some more people. I'm gonna go to a shop. And then have some real bullshit stuff happen to me. Brandon will... Find out about his magic. Well, we won't find out about his magic. We'll see next time. This has been D and D. If you guys like this episode, like, comment, subscribe. This has been Nick Red Ace, and I'll see you in the next video. Nick Red Ace out. With nothing useful to say, I don't want to listen to it. Feeling the deep with the pain, I'm slowly sinking to it. Consider questionable things to try to get me through it. I've tried to push it away, but I always give in to it. I'm going to taste of the rain, and finally I'll subdue it. And wash the sorrow.